PregameGame.com. We have the first ranked-on-ranked -ranked USC Notre Dame matchup in more than a decade. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. Talking NBC Saturday Night Action. USC Notre Dame, one of the best rivalries in all of college football. And both these teams are good this year. That makes this game playoff elimination, baby. Who do you like? I like the home team here. That's right. We're taking Notre Dame minus the three and a half. And the Fighting Irish have a huge rest advantage in this one. They're coming off a bye. Meanwhile, USC, on the other hand, they are playing their eighth straight week here, and they're coming off a very physical to-the-wire game against Utah last week. And it's not like USC's been playing a bunch of cupcakes this year. They've been playing the likes of Stanford, Texas, Washington State, all legitimate top 25 caliber teams, plus that Utah game. Notre Dame very fresh off a of bye. USC banged up coming off their eighth straight week like the Irish here. And the Irish under Coach Kelly have been money off of a bye historically, right? Yeah, you look at his last seven times off a regular season bye. 7-0 straight up, competitive line here, so that's good. But he's also 5-2 and two against the spread. And a little hidden factor here since I follow Notre Dame closely, they didn't have classes this week. So normally while the players are focusing on their schoolwork, no classes this week means they can just strictly focus on this big football game here. Players focused on their classwork? Yeah. Maybe well, at Notre Dame, yeah, maybe at Notre Dame. Maybe distracted by okay. their classwork is the way that I would say it. Uh, power ratings. Not clear to me which one of these two teams is better. Where, where do your power ratings happen? Not really clear to me. I'd say on a neutral, this game's a pick em. But when you factor in Notre Dame's off a of bye, it's at home at night, a big atmosphere, one of the biggest home games Notre Dame's had in a while. I think this is more like a four, four and a half points as far as home field advantage goes. I love the fact that Notre Dame has lost one game this year. They lost to Georgia, so they're being valued like a one-loss team. That game could have gone either way and – Georgia's pretty darn good. If they had beaten Georgia, they'd be laying seven here and you'd have no value. Yeah, that's a great call. And flipping back to that game, I remember watching it. was on the same time as the Oklahoma-Ohio State game, Auburn-Clemson. I'm watching, ah, oh, these teams look pretty good, you know, in comparison to those games. But in reality is, every other game outside of that, Notre Dame and Georgia's played, they've won by 20 points or more. So that was a good game. And no, you're right, Notre Dame had a shot. Georgia makes a, a last-minute field goal to beat Notre Dame by one. Yeah, just ask Tennessee how <laughs> good Georgia is after that 41 to nothing debacle. Your second key handicap. Let's talk about a banged-up USC team, particularly on the defensive line where they could have as many as four players missing from their rotation in the two deep. That's not good news because what does Notre Dame do best on offense? Well, they run the football down your throat. They're averaging more than 300 rushing yards per game this season. And if you got a banged up defensive line, that's not going to be a good look for the Trojans. I thought you had a great stat. You talk about um, line of scrimmage domination, and Notre Dame has had it in our dream pod that you do each and every week here at pregame.com, and it's up right now. You talk about how good that domination has been. And you were on that dream pod this week. Good job. You brought a lot to it. Uh, as far as this stat goes, it's one of the neatest stats I've seen all year as far as, you know, owning line scrimmage. Total rushing touchdowns by Notre Dame's offense, 23. Total rushing touchdowns allowed by Notre Dame's defense, 1. 23 to 1. That's quite significant and major reason why they've exceeded expectations so far. Well, last week, Mr. Powers, you went 3-0 and on yeah. your video college football picks. And you predicted it. And I predicted it. And I am once again going to predict you go 3-0 and again. Let's make it official. We'll take it here. We're going to go with Notre Dame minus the 3.5. The Irish, huge rest advantage in this one. They're coming off a of bye, playing a banged-up USC team, playing their eighth consecutive game. And speaking of that banged-up USC team, they have cluster injuries on the defensive line. Uh-oh, that's not good news. Taking on that powerful Notre Dame rushing attack. Add it all up in the Irish. Cover the spread, minus the three and a half points. They take home the Shillelagh Trophy. We'll have more videos at pregame.com.